Hey royalty. Hey empress. Hey empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Gemini, and anybody sending any negative energy in this reading towards me or Gemini, may be returned back to sender a thousandfold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest bright light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me a clear message straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What does Gemini need to know? Please and thank you. All right, Gemini, just breathe. They want you to just relax at this time. This also has to do with your home and your foundation. Also, relationships within your life. They want you to relax. They want you to breathe out. They want, to, they want you to let something go. And this is your spirit guides connecting to you. Wow. So for someone here, you could be having like paranormal activity happening within your house, but it is your spirit guides, your angels, and your ancestors letting you know that they're there, okay, that they're with you, that they're guiding you, that they're helping you. Because look at, she's connecting to spirit. You could be most definitely connecting to spirit at this time, male or female. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's like you're creating balance in your base chakra, okay, your root chakra. You know why you're here, what you're here to do. It's a new sense of confidence for you, emperor or empress. And this has to do with you releasing what no longer aligned with you or no longer aligns with you in your highest good. Okay, this is also Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio energy. You could be releasing, okay? And it's bringing in a new sense of renewal, a new sense of vitality, a new sense of self. Okay, it's like spirit is so proud of you. 43 could be significant, 34, 13, 31 is here. March, also April, you're nurturing yourself and you are getting fueled up by the heavens, by Father God, by, by Ra, by the sun. Okay, nature could be significant. You could be going outside more, but it's like you're giving back to society. You're giving back to humanity. You're giving back to people around you. You're able to nurture and grow at this time not only just with himself but also in regards to things around you this is beautiful energy and there's someone here that either feels helpless or hopeless or this could have been after a time where you could have been feeling this way you could be connected to a sagittarius okay or even a leo there could have been a time when you didn't feel like you had the support that you may have needed or wanted. The number eight, August is here. The spirit could have allowed certain trials or tribulations to happen or for that you to go through so that you could overcome and so that you can know yourself, to learn more about yourself and know what you are capable of, of achieving and overcoming. They want you to know that it's time to spread your wings and fly. Okay, it's time to elevate. Let's jump to the next one. What else does Gemini need to know, please, and thank you? Okay, it's time to meditate and pray. It's time to not only to ground your energy, but the spirit wants to talk to you, okay? It's time for prayer. Rosary beads could be significant. You could be going to church. There's getting ready to be, to be relief that enters within your life at this time, okay? There's going to be some type of resolution that's getting ready to come in for you gemini and it's going to be help from up above okay this could also have to do with you doing the shadow work healing you have divine protection over your life you are protected this is also like a shift that's getting ready to take place for you you could be getting out of some type of cycle or chapter or continuous pattern you're ending something okay i knew grounded was going to pop out they want you to do Focus on grounding. Every time I see meditate, it's kind of like Father God is like, sit down, just sit with me real quick. 
and it gives me the grounding energy, the peaceful energy, the still energy, like be still. Let Father God just work through you, work on you. Like that's that's the energy I get from the meditate part. <laughs> but it's something about how you're not only just grounding your energy, you're focusing on creating inner peace and harmony within. You could be going swimming, pools could be significant. You could be going on a yacht. The color blue or purple could be significant, even green this year. And you also have here yellow. Orange could also be significant. You could also be someone that's very well respected. Okay, you may do something that is of a high affluence within your community, or it may affect people around you. Okay, even within, like outside of your immediate circle, you could do something that has to do with law, okay, or that has to do with like creating rules, like legislature, or you could do something that has to do with like just impacting in regards to society, people's day to day. Whether it's in regards to like working at a store, a bank, healthcare, it doesn't matter what you do. You are impacting society in one way, shape, or form at this time. What else does Gemini need to know? And it's breaking some type of pattern. It's helping you grow. You're breaking away from some type of continuous pattern that you may have been doing. It's like you're doing something different. There's someone in your energy that could be trying to hide their true emotions or feelings. This person is full of deception. There's some type of stuck energy that's taking place at this time. Someone feels stuck. Someone feels trapped. Someone feels like, wow. Someone here feels stuck in their emotions. And they're not understanding how to get out of this. And they could be lying about how they feel. It could be someone who's a karmic to you. Or they could have chosen like a karmic situation. A hater of yours. This is even someone that you may have heard. You may have had to learn like a harsh lesson with from so that you can move forward along your path and elevate and gain wisdom someone here could be lighting candles someone here could even be of a different religion than you or faith or spirituality like they, they could believe in something different than you some type of lesson that's being learned at this time gemini and i have somebody very fearful very worrisome because they know that you know Someone here is longing for you. This person could be longing for you, missing you, and they want to reach out to you. It's like they could, someone could be asking them, have they heard from Gemini? And they could be saying they've heard from you. Okay, because I wanted to say heard <laughs> earlier. Someone here could be wanting to hear from you. And let's talk is here. So there's a reunion or there's some type of conversation that this person wants to have with you. And it's because you're healing self-care, introspection, self-realization. Someone here knows that you are healing and they are suffering in silence. Someone here could be like refusing to do the inner work. They know that they need to or they know that they want to, but they could be refusing to do it at this time. Wow, okay, let's, let's move forward. <laughs> what else does Gemini need to know? Yeah, lockbox. Somebody feels closed in. They feel trapped. They could be wanting to send you a message, a SOS message. This is what's being hidden right now with the moon. Okay, cancer energy is here. That somebody here wants to get on the same page with you. They do want to talk to you. Like somebody here has been telling people they've heard from you or they, <laughs> they would like to hear from you. Okay, or they're getting ready to reach out to you. This can be someone that's facing judgment at this time. Or you could have had to make a final decision in regards to this person or with this situation. But with the Hierophant being here, there was definitely like a, a heavy life lesson that needed to be learned. Someone here could be married, okay, or in a high level position within society with the Hierophant. This is also someone that could be realizing like they want to marry you. Or you could be someone that is very close to God. You could stand on your morals, values, beliefs, things that you stand on and for. You could also be connecting to a Taurus, Scorpio, or Cancer. What's the moon? The spiritual partnership. Someone here is really in their emotions. They, they could have had a lot of fears, blocked emotions, blocked intuition, blocked judgment about a spiritual partnership with you. 
There's someone here. This could be a man or you could be this emperor. Okay, this person is experiencing a tower in their life. There's some type of catastrophe, revelation, an awakening that could be taking place at this time. Okay, this card is not supposed to be in here. Yeah, you blocked this person. Or you're moving on from them, or this is how they feel. What's the what's the emperor? Someone here who's trying to ascend. So there's an emperor that is trying to ascend at this time. And there could be someone here who's trying to retaliate. They could be trying to communicate telepathically to this person because they got cut off. And it's like now they're stalking this person. So this energy has like a crazy Looney Tune that's attached to them. Okay? This is someone that feels like they are running out of time in regards to connecting to you because they feel like you already completed the cycle. Or learn the lesson. This could be an Aries, a Taurus, or even a Karmic Libra or Aquarius. What's the tower? Someone here could have been like too focused on the wrong things. And it's like now they're getting back to like getting where they're supposed to go, where they're supposed to be. They're, they're, it's like this energy is trying to mirror you after being karmic or after connecting to a devil energy, codependency. Or after being very codependent with you, Gemini, or could have been trying to put you in a codependent energy or in an obsessed energy. You could have cleansed this person's energy, like you could have saged, okay, you could have gotten rid of things that like this person may have tried to get you. I just saw the Empress wanted to pop out, and she did. Somebody here is realizing you're the Empress after connecting to a karmic. Third party, someone here who was devilish or being utilized by the devil. Gemini, you could be very happy. You could be feeling overjoyed. Different things could be working out for you at this time as well. It's a lot of peace. It's a lot of healing that's getting ready to come in. One, two, three could be significant. Capricorn is also here with Leo. Okay, but you are this divine emperor or empress. And you're attracting in love, peace, money, abundance, blessings into your life effortlessly. You could be extremely creative. Okay, you could also be having like a renewal in your energy at this time or even in your faith within your life. But this is abundance in all areas with the Empress. You could also be manifesting like pregnancy. You could be getting ready to get pregnant or this could just be you being fertile with seeds that are meant to be very financially abundant, that are meant to take off, that are meant to put you at the next tax bracket. Yeah, you definitely have to let something go or someone here could be letting something go at this time. And could be trying to speak some type of truth or clarity to you after being on like an emotional roller coaster and struggling financially. Let's jump to the tarot. What's going on with Gemini? Yeah, the Hierophant. You definitely are very close to God at this time, or just very like in tune with your morals, values, beliefs, things that you stand on or for. Someone here was definitely juggling someone who was emotionally, even like physically uh, all over the place. What I'll say is someone here had like a very blocked root chakra or base chakra. They could have lacked confidence. They could have been very like promiscuous. They may have been very unhealed, very bossy, very egotistical, very narcissistic energy, very self-centered energy. Okay. Someone here could have been very sexually active, and it could be because of childhood wounds that they may not have addressed. This could be a male or a female that somebody here was, like, juggling, okay? It even could have been a fire sign or an earth sign, okay? Even an Aquarius, but let's see. Yeah, you have nothing but happiness and blessings coming over your life, Gemini. Let's the first card out. <laughs> you have nothing but abundance, blessings, wealth sustainability you being able to maintain and sustain the things that god is gifting you with the nine of cups okay water sign energy is here this is also a lot of achievement rewards accolades being seen things that you are very proud of a lot of your achievements well-known achievements hard work is getting ready to like come in this is also you reaping your harvest you reaping your rewards for your dedication the nine of cups is you having more than enough you feeling overly satisfied and a prayer being answered for you this could be after some type of breakup betrayal okay with the three of swords some type of pain within like a relationship this could even be 
causing heartbreak to someone, seeing you happy. Okay, there go that water sign energy, the king of cups. Somebody's heartbroken that you could have gained like emotional grounding within your life and you could be moving forward. There's some type of deep emotional maturity and also you being able to keep your emotions and feeling your heart space like protected. You're not letting people know exactly how you feel. You being able to move forward with peace and with grace. Okay, this is also you moving forward from your past. Six, six could be significant. Nine, three could be significant as well. What's the... Or 39, what's the nine of cups? Okay, so you have the hermit. There's someone that's watching you. They could want to talk to you. They could even be trying to apologize, but you know that they're you know that they're not honest. You know that they're very dishonest. You know that they lie. You know that they sell like false promises, especially in regards to like how they feel their emotions. Someone here could be very like wishy-washy up and down as well. And with the hermit being here, there was some type of ghosting, isolation or no communication that could be taking place. This is also someone that could be very mad that they have, they have to go within. This is someone that's emotionally unstable. Okay, and it may show in times when they're alone or in isolation. Okay, you're moving forward from this, Gemini. Like you're, you're moving on from this. The Two of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse with the Hermit and the Page of Cups in the reverse. You're moving on from this type of individual. I just saw you again, Empress or Emperor. <laughs> and it's because there's a new embodiment of self-love, self-care, of how you view yourself, of what you will and will not stand for in a connection, in any type of relationship. What's the Page of Cups? The Queen of Cups this year. It could be a water sign, but this could be somebody here that comes across. You could have, so with the King of Cups showing, you could have been in a connection with someone where there was deep, deep love and emotions, okay? Even children, family. Could have been created, but it's something that this person has done in secret, okay? This is also someone here that is needing to heal, like, inner wounds with the Queen of Cups being here. Someone here is also hiding the fact that they could be, like, heavily watching you. And they know that you would reject them emotionally, but this is still someone that has some type of deep emotional attachment to you. With the Queen of Cups being here, there's stress, worry, and anxiety that this person is, is feeling at this time. This could be a water sign, doesn't even have to be. It could just be someone that you were in an emotional connection with, okay? That may not have let you know exactly how you have made them feel. With the Queen of Cups and Page of Cups in the reverse, somebody here could have suppressed it. What's the, and the Nine of Swords? And it has them very angry at this time. With the Nine of Swords, what's the Hermit? Yeah, and the Lovers. Like, Gemini, you knew somebody wasn't for you. And look at the Empress showing themselves now. You knew intuitively somebody here wasn't for you or somebody here was wasn't aligned with your morals, values, beliefs, things that you stand on or for, or where you're headed in towards your future. Someone here also hit like a lot of, you could hold hidden knowledge at this time. You could be a high priestess. You could be someone that's very empathic and spiritually gifted, Gemini. And someone here wanted you to choose like a karmic situation where there was abuse, cheating, scandal, you guys weren't on the equal page or equal reciprocity with the lovers in the reverse. It could have even been a lack of attraction here. What's the lovers? The Ten of Swords. A cheating, conflict, fighting, discord, competition, gossip. Like this was a situation of someone here just being for you for a good time. Sex, lust, temptation. Like you intuitively knew. So somebody here also could have been hiding the fact that they had emotions because they wanted to see how if you were going to be like attached to them. This is someone that even could have wanted, you know, to, to show you exactly how they feel about you. This even could have been someone that wanted you to have a deep emotional attachment to them, okay? Even though they had deeper emotions, 
for you, Gemini, but you knew intuitively, like your intuition was guiding you and was letting you know that this wasn't a line. This was somebody that was trying to emotionally hurt you, betray you, make you compete, five of wands, make you look, someone here wanted you to compete. They even could have wanted you to look foolish for them in different ways with the five of wands. They could have had like five different people that could have been trying to come up against you as well. It was to emotionally scar you or hurt you with the Ten of Swords, especially because this person is with the Page of Cups in the reverse. What's the High Priestess? The Emperor. Yeah, you intuitively know, okay, that either you're going to be guided towards an Emperor or an Empress, or you're stepping into, into an authoritative role within your life, okay, like a leadership position within your life, like you're taking the driver's seat. Okay, it could have been other people that could have been trying to influence you, especially this person. And it's like, no more of that. You are taking some type of direct action at this time. This is also you laying down boundaries to move forward with the Six of Swords. And that's what's bringing in good karma to you. You're moving on from the past. This could have been with someone that you could have had like a deep connection with, with the Six of Cups. Children could have been involved or history, but it's karma retribution that's getting ready to come towards you and no more illusions because somebody here was casting like putting you in illusions making you believe reality was one way when it really was not what's the knight of pentacles the eight of swords in the reverse yeah no more stress about how someone was falling selling you false dreams this is like deadbeat energy somebody here that says they're going to commit or say they're going to get this done and they don't they never they're they're very lazy the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, they're a leech energy. Somebody here is extremely codependent, very needy, very financially unstable, very imbalanced. They may spend when they don't have anything. Okay, someone here also likes to be provided for. They like to be taken care of, but they can't bring anything to the table. And with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, this person is not willing to change. They don't want to change. The Nine of Wands in the reverse is like they walk around with a chip on their shoulder. Like my existence is just is supposed to be enough. They're supposed to be catering to me with a silver platter. Like somebody here is delusional. Okay. <laughs> delusional. <laughs> delusional. Yeah, the King of Cups is here now. What's the King of Cups about? The yeah. So you are getting ready to come out of the cold because you know this. Okay, you already know about how somebody is or what somebody's trying to do. What's the king and king? What's the king and queen of cups? And you're putting an end to it with the death card. So you know that you have deep love for someone. Okay, with the king of cups and the queen of cups, like you, you admitted this to yourself, but you also may have known that this person wasn't going to bring you true emotional happiness in a relationship or in a situation. What's the king and queen of cups? Because of some type of wounds that they didn't want to, to address or heal. This could have been someone that was also very, very needy or codependent, male or female. And also could have tried to tie to your finances. What's the king and queen of cups? Yeah, did I just say that? Your finances, the eight of pentacles. What's the eight of pentacles about? The eight of wands. What's the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands? You're going to be getting information as well. Yeah. Somebody here was putting in a lot of work to move things forward towards a marriage. Like they wanted you to be able to marry them. Someone here hoped that it would have led to marriage or you just committing long term or full term. The Ten of Cups. Like this is what this person wanted to keep you trapped in some type of family unit dynamic. Okay, literally. But it's like you're moving forward towards an actual commitment with the Ten of Cups, towards something that is going to be able to be built, okay, and something that's going to be built on a solid ground and something that's going to be maintained. It's going to have longevity. It's that solid commitment, okay? The pentacle is behind it. This is wealth, okay? This is building of, building of businesses, building of a foundation, a strong family unit, strong traditions is coming in as well here. Okay, this is your children's children being able to be taken care of. This is you being able to take care of self and also those around you. There's some type of new start that's taking place, but it was some type of relationship that someone here wanted to keep you in because they knew what you 
what we it's like what your destiny is. What's the Queen of Cups? The moon in the reverse. This is getting ready to come out to the light. How somebody here had plans with the Queen of Swords. They had plans on doing this because of your money, because of your loyalty, because of how you commit who you are. This person is completely unbalanced. With the temperance angel in the reverse, there's no type of protection around this individual, whoever this is. They're full of illusions, okay? They also were trying to keep you in an illusion in regards to laying something to rest, okay? It was because they wanted to come towards you with the Knight of Cups. Somebody's in regret now. They feel like their manifestations are not coming in. They realize you are, you're walking away. You made a decision to walk away and go towards better, and that's the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is coming, Gemini, but there most definitely is a connection or a relationship that just is not, is not aligned with you. Yeah, we're at 27. It's not aligned with you, especially with the lovers in the reverse. That's your energy, Gemini. What's the emperor? Judgment is for you to be happy, okay? There's a final decision that needs to be made to let you to be happy, to let you can heal. So that you could focus on peace and creating peace within your life. And so that you can focus on like positivity. This is also healthy connections. There's some type of rebirth change that's getting ready to take place at this time. This is also you hearing the call of God. Okay, male or female with the emperor. And the empress is already out. I could find her. The emperor and the empress is out here twice. So what you're being divinely guided towards is not only just a powerful connection, but actually a relationship that you're going to be able to heal, truly heal, truly evolve within, and truly grow, flourish, and blossom. And this is something that Father God is blessing and ordaining with the sun in the Hierophant. There could have been someone that most definitely wanted to keep you in a, a marriage or a, a contract, okay? And it was because with the justice card, and it was because of some type of financial difficulties that they could have seen you got out of, that they could have tried to cause to you. What was this hangman about? What was the delay? The Six of Cups, thinking about the past. Someone here wanted to delay you from moving on from the past. The Six of Cups and having a new beginning. They wanted you to stay like in a, a lack of mentality or in an off mentality in regards to, what is, it, what is it, ruminating, thinking, overthinking about how things that you cannot change instead of thinking about how you have the present time and moment now to be better, to do something different, to do something better, to change, to evolve, to do what you want to do or do what you need to do, okay? Somebody here wanted you to stay stuck in like an old norm, an old mentality, an old way of being. What else does Gemini need to know? Please and thank you. Okay, you have here a Capricorn. So you could be connecting to a Capricorn at this time. This could be someone that wants to express their feelings to you. Okay, you also have Virgo that's here. Okay, Scorpio is here. What's going on with Scorpio? There could be a Scorpio in your life that's a karmic partner. And we already confirmed that. This could be someone that wanted the best of both worlds with you. Okay. They could have wanted their cake. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. This could have been in regards to anything. What's going on here with Capricorn? You have here, this person's not a breath of fresh air. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you, Gemini. Okay? And it's because they're over it or they feel like you were over it. And it has this person in deep thought and a lot of sadness. Okay. And what's going on with this Virgo? Someone here wants to be in a fruitful union with you, Virgo. I mean, this Virgo wants to be in a fruitful union with you, Gemini. 
So just to be someone that could be hiding that they have bad habits and addictions and that they lack maturity and that they only want to show you fake support. So this is like warning messages to stay away from these individuals that could be trying to come towards you. You are going to be coming in contact with a star cross love. Who's the star cross love that's going to be a magnetic attraction for this person? This could be an Aries for someone here. This could even be a, I don't know what other card was sticking out. Someone here that's not going to choose a karmic. Someone here that's going to identify you and know you for exactly who you are. Your confidence, your worth, your mentality, your mindset, your way of being. Like somebody here is not going to want to play games with you or is not going to want to try to string you along and see if better comes along. Because they're already going to recognize like you are the best. Like, <laughs> let me put that as the title. Okay. Anything else that Gemini needs to know? We're already at 32 minutes. Anything else that Gemini needs to know? Okay, balance is being restored. Pisces energy is here after some type of karmic connection. You could be properly planning for your future at this time. And this bring this is enhancing and bringing you more in tune with your personal power, your inner strength, your inner courage. Leo energy. Okay, there's an ending. Scorpio energy. There's an ending so that there could be a new beginning. This is also going to help you regulate a situation within your life. You definitely could do something that has to do with the community. Well, there's a lot of people in your community that's talking about you at this time, Gemini. And it's because there's someone that could be wanting to rekindle a flame with you because they know that you're about to fall in love with the one after learning the lesson. Okay, someone here realizes this, that they're not going to be able to continue to play Okay, play on your heartstrings, play on that good heart, that loving heart that you have if you learn the lesson. Okay, if you move forward and learn the lesson. Someone here could be reaching out to you in the next week. You are never alone. Okay, someone here knows that you're not going to want to take them back. Okay, know that love is all around you. Your ex definitely wants to connect back to you. Or this is your ex that I'm speaking about at this time. This person could have tried to do something around the new moon. I thought another card had flipped. Okay, it's time. Yeah, someone here is realizing that you are going through a spiritual awakening. You must have the devil. This devil energy is realizing that you are going through a spiritual awakening. Something could be happening on Friday. Something could also be happening today. You have here 111. Okay, you are attracting in love, peace, money, abundance, blessings into your life. And clarity is coming towards you. Okay, somebody here is going through childhood trauma. I said that. Which is why they acted this way. The letter Z could be significant. And they're trying to make it hard for you to move on from them. They're trying to use sex. This is someone who is a drama starter, and they're trying to start with you, Earth Angel. Okay, someone here could be born in the springtime. This person's going to jail. Okay, for finger, it's constantly finger pointing. This could be someone that constantly wants to finger point at you. They're under judgment, okay, for doing something to you, Gemini, or in regards to you. Okay, you also have here, this is someone that wants you to put your guard down with them. Okay, yes, this is someone that wants you to put your guard down with them because their plans did not work. They're realizing this, and it's like now they need help, okay, from you, Empress, and it's because your spirit guide stepped in, or Emperor, it's because your spirit guide stepped in. This is someone that only wanted money. The ex only wanted money. Anything else Gemini needs to know, stay away from this person. This could be someone that is trying to pay, or they have paid, or playing in spell work, and it's not working. Something could be happening on Thursday. Okay, you also have to, you have blessings that are coming in from the divine, okay? Someone's dirty secrets are getting ready to be exposed. You could be on different pages with this person. Spirit wants you to stay away from this individual. Anything else that Gemini needs to know? All blockages have been removed. You have true love and marriage that's coming in. You are on the right path, 333, and love is going to conquer all in a connection. Someone here is also being set set up, and they could be wanting to pull up on you, your house, your job, your you know pull up on you. 
could also be someone that wants to like smoke or drink with you or have fun with you. The letter N could be significant. The letter E could be significant. They want to steal money. Okay. The mind games that this person is trying to play with you is failing. You also have for the winter time something could have happened in the winter time with a Leo, or something could have happened in the winter time. Okay, you also have Taurus that's here. Okay, yeah, somebody here they went for a dark high priest, or they are a a dark high priest. Taurus is here. Okay, and this person doesn't listen to God. There's about to be a faded event that takes place around the full moon. Okay. No, and it's not going to work. Whatever somebody tried to do, they feel like it's going to work. It's not. It's going to be a no. Okay, let's get advice. Any advice? Archangel Michael, what's the advice for Gemini? Peace and thank you. You could be needing to spend more time outdoors. And they're saying be gentle with yourself. Okay, so you have here, thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. And you have Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love and everything I think, speak, and do. Please help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. And at the bottom, you have here, your home is protected by angels. So please know that. Amen. And let's get a message from the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Please and thank you for Gemini. Okay, you have here, I am not afraid to step into the edges of my comfort zone. And you have nothing on the bottom and nothing on the top. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, and I will be seeing you on the next video.